What is normal at 3 p.m., but terrifying at 3 a.m.? Car pulling into your driveway. One night, right around New Year, I thought I heard something in our driveway. I looked, it was snowy and very quiet, right around 2 a.m., and it was no car, but two people sitting underneath our mailbox, waist high in the snow. Just sitting there, not moving or talking. It was so freaky. The snow was going pretty strong, and we are well in suburbia, where there is noon walking, that late because there is nothing like bars or clubs or anything around walking distance wise. Okay so I sit there terrified, and thinking these are intruders, just resting quietly, as we live on a very steep street, and as soon as they even make a step forward, I'm calling the cops. In retrospect, how stupid that I'm waiting to be attacked. In any event, these two people sat in the snow for disturbingly long time. Then I started to kind of worry if they are okay or too cold. Eventually, they got up and quietly embarked further up the hill slash street. They did not have anything on them, not even sure if they had jackets. They did not talk. They were super creepy. Again, in retrospect, they were probably drunk reasonable people walking from a neighbor's house or party back to their house, but at 3am, and sitting in front of my house, it felt like the intro of a horror flick. Breaking news. It wasn't 3am, but still somewhat late as both my dad and I were in bed when we got alerts for a special presidential address for when SEAL Team 6 killed Ben Laden. I remember knocking on his door and whisper yelling dad, dad, we need to go, turn on the TV. It was just us living there, idky I was whisper yelling lol I was thinking that maybe someone was assassinated or we were about to be bombed, expecting something terrible. Very different situation, but that reminds me of when Princess Diana died and my mom woke me up in the middle of the night to tell me. I was 10 years old, and I'm American, and I didn't even know who she was. I was like okay, and went back to sleep. <sighs> Having had to flee my home at 2am due to wildfires, I'd say heavy traffic. Edit due to confusion, it's the heavy traffic at 3am that's terrifying, not the wildfires, which are terrifying, no matter what time it is. Experience the terror of waking up at 2am with my neighborhood on fire, myself. Was terrifying. This was the first thing that came to mind. If the highway is backed up at 3 a.m., something is gravely wrong. A kid's toy going off in a random room. My kids used to have a book that, when opened, played nursery rhymes. It turns out that when the battery is running low the book does two things. One, it plays the tune even while closed. Two, it plays the tune really slow and in a lower pitch. You can see where this is going right. Middle of the night me and my husband are woken by twee i i inkle twee i i i i i i i inkle the i i i star being croaked at us from under rod toddler's bed. Dog standing at the top of the stairs and barking at something on the main floor. My dog doesn't bark very often, we heard her for 4 years before we heard her bark, so this would scare the shit out of me 100%. This happened with my last dog. I was sleeping with the door open and she was sleeping at the end of the bed. I felt her move in the middle of the night and it woke me up, so I looked down to see her slowly standing up and looking out the bedroom door. She jumped off the bed and started going insane and barking. She was frantically stepping across the threshold of the room and then backing up into the room. It was like she was trying to get something slash someone to back off, but it kept spooking her back into the room. I couldn't see out the door from my angle, so I had no idea what she was barking at. She didn't even acknowledge me as I was yelling at her to stop, which is weird, because she was generally good at listening and also never barked. Then she all of a sudden stopped barking, jumped back up on the bed, and went to sleep. I have no idea what the hell she was barking at. We were the only two living things in the house and the cameras around the outside of the house didn't pick anything up the entire night. A phone call from parents slash relatives etc. My mom called me at 2.42 am the other night. I woke up to her call and read it the worst as I answered. She couldn't remember her password to get into her FASA book. Unless you need that password to prevent a nuclear apocalypse, you better just wait your ass until a time when I'm not gonna assume someone died. The sound of a branch breaking when you're outside. And then listening for steps does that sound like to legs or four? 
My favorite is when you hear the steps, but no one is around. Chances are it's probably a woods turtle. Edit. A woods turtle is a turtle that lives in the woods. The more you now want. Please tell me what a woods turtle is. Someone knocking on the door. As kids we would play doorbell ditch sometimes during sleepovers and thought it was the best. It has happened to me a few times, and it scared the shit of me lol. I have a plug and doorbell, which goes off when it's first powered up. That thing is great during. I once saw a little kid's birthday party at a park super late at night, like almost midnight. I didn't understand WTF, and for some reason the nope level was really high, like my brain said this is some creepy shit they are gonna eat you for the birthday cake, so I just kept on moving. Seen it. Kid was an astronomy nut, so the parents scheduled it as a sort of a sleepover. Even got a special permit, and paid for the city, to switch off some lights. Dude. I have been wondering forever, and I'm totally going with this as the answer. A child laughing. There's nothing more precious than a child's laughter, unless it's 3 in the morning and you don't have kids. Or even when you do have kids. Sleep deprivation is terrifying. House sounds. During the day, if the house creaks or whatever, who cares. If it's night, holy fuck demon in the darkness. Also the ice machine 3pm it's just ice. 3am who the fuck is breaking in? Damn it ice maker, do you never sleep? The pile of clothes in my room. The day I finished my scuba certification, I got home absolutely exhausted, and hung my wetsuit in the shower. Ordered some hot wings, put on a scary movie, The Descent. You know, the one with the streamlined smooth humanoids that eat people in the dark. Crawl into bed and pass out. At like 3am I get up to take a piss. I don't bother turning on the light. Halfway through the process, I look over to see a smooth human silhouette looming over me. Great. Now there's piss on the ceiling. Gotta love the shower lurker scare. My brother used to have a giant cardboard Austin Powers cutout figure. Complete with motion activated voice of barks. Groovy, baby. He put that in the shower with the curtain half drawn one night before bed. I woke up, had to go pee, and woke up everyone with my screams when it startled me. Those automatic air freshener sprays. Yes. I got the shit scared out of me by ups from the pitch black living room in the middle of the night. It was trying to whisper to you that you smelled bad and was doing the house a solid by freshening the air. You should have thanked it. Looking in your bathroom mirror. I've decided I either have to look right in the mirror or close my eyes when I pass it. No in between. If I just walk past the mirror but notice it in my peripheral, I'm convinced I'll see a shadowy figure move out of the corner of my eye and die of panic. If you live in a rural area, gunshots. If I hear them at 3pm, it's just someone practicing or hunting 3am. What the hell are they shooting a gun for at 3am? If the rural we are talking about is farmland, I'm gonna assume my next door neighbors are axing a particularly unlucky raccoon at 3am. Anything else? I refuse to think too deeply on it. The door opening. My girl works overnights, and last winter I wake up to my door unlocking, so I go and investigate. She wears a massive parka in the winter so as a shadow, no lights on, I see someone walking into my home shoulders about 4 feet wide. She got home 5 hours early, I was freaked out pretty good. My wife is a night shift nurse, and sometimes gets sent home early, because they don't need her. True horror is waking up to the garage door opening at 3am lol. A school bus going slowly down the street. Lol. At one point, when I was younger, my parents convinced me that there was a headless bus driver. He was always early, and you were always late. If you missed the bus, he would come back and take your head at the end of the school day. The last part was a joke, they had me flipped out for a bit there. I made sure that I never missed the bus in the morning ever again. Your dog barking like crazy. That happened to me at 10pm. My dog would not stop barking. I would go outside and see nothing he could be barking at. Finally I see he's barking at my car. I go towards my car and see a body underneath my car. I run back inside with my dog and dial 911. I tell them there's someone underneath my car. They ask me if this person is alive. I don't know. So they say go check. No that's why I'm calling you. WTF. Um. 
I'm going to have to request more information. You can't just drop this kinda stuff on me and leave. The end. Thanks for watching.